Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and this is day seven of the January Creative Prompts. If you haven't been following us, do check below in the description box, click on Show More to see the link to the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, which has the whole list of prompts. We did seven at a time, so you'll see week one and week two, week three, week four, so on. So today, the prompt is to find a poem that inspires you. Use the poem to inspire how you will create your journal page and then write about why this poem inspires you. So I did a couple of searches. I was looking for a sea-related, maybe sunset-related type poem, and I went to Family Friend Poems, and I found Magical Sunset by Celine. It says, as the day ends to rest, the sunset does its best, setting on fire the lovely, the lively waves, coloring orange the nature he saves. It's pure, ancient, glorious perfection. The great ocean will receive the burning sun who's going to leave. Slowly comes the night, devouring the magic light. We are still suspended in great delight. So I thought I would do kind of a sea slash sunset theme. So I've got a piece of cardstock that's approximately, I believe it's five and a quarter by maybe six inches tall, something like that. It was a scrap that I had on my desk. I just trimmed it so that it would fit on my page. And let's apply some color to that. So I'm just grabbing a scrap of paper to put behind. So I'm going to do somewhat of a sunset, you know, sunrise or sunset, however you want to do that. It's pretty much the same. It's those beautiful, vivid colors. So I've got a few colors of some Distress ink here. I've got Mustard Seed, Salty Ocean, and Carved Pumpkin. These are all Distress Oxides, and I do have a little bit of Fired Brick in case I want that. I think what I want to do is I'm going to start with the salty ocean and I'm going to apply a generous amount on the top so that'll be kind of that going into the dark sky if you will and I'll put a little bit let's see I'm gonna put some in the midpoint right about in here so that will be my ocean if you will and I think what I want to do is kind of make a sunset shape. So I'm going to take a piece of paper and just kind of curve it a little bit. Like that. Just a little. All right, so we've got the beginnings here. And I think I want this upper area to be a little bit yellow. So I'm going to use mustard seed. And I've got these makeup brushes that I picked up off of Amazon. I've got a link in the description box below to kind of get you started. Okay, I think I like that. And then I'm going to kind of come, I'm trying to decide, do I want to do it this way? I think I'll kind of do it this way where I tear this where it's not straight across here. And then I'm going to use a little bit of the carved pumpkin. It may not be a perfect sunset, but you know, it's just all about creating. Having fun with what you're doing. Don't go for perfection every time. You'll be disappointed. Do what you love and have fun with it. And let it grow. Maybe it'll, you know, evolve just a little bit. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I've got this sea oats rubber stamp and I want to stamp that across the bottom here like that and I think what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of a brown in here so I'm going to grab my walnut stain and I'm going to come from the bottom up onto it just kind of adding a little bit of that darker brown at the bottom and I think I'm going to go ahead and go around the edges with the walnut stain all right so I want to put this on my page I want to make sure I've got the halfway mark here I think I want to put it somewhat in the middle here, I think. I'm kind of looking. Maybe I'll put it all the way at the bottom and add this here. And then I've got a little bit of cheesecloth. And then this is a, is it a compass? I think that's what that considers compass. So I'm trying to decide, do I want to put that in here? 
I think that's what I want to do. I'm going to spray this tattered angel. So let me grab my box in a couple of colors. All right, so I've got three colors here, basically a green, a brown, and a turquoise color. So I've got Punked Lime from the Punked Out Steam Tattered Angels kit. I've got Craft, and I've got uh, Peacock Turquoise from the Christmas Peacock Tattered Angels set. You know, these are Tattered Angels that you can use with any project, pretty much. Just because it's got a specific name on it doesn't mean you have to use it for a certain time of year. So what I'm going to do is I've got this laid in here. I'm going to kind of open it up just a little bit. All right, so I'm going to spritz a little bit with the green, and then I'm going to come back with the turquoise, and then I'm going to add a little bit of the craft. It'll add a little bit of a gold shimmer and kind of give a brown spots here and there. I'm going to dry this with my heat tool, and I'll be right back. All right, I think I got that dry, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere this bottom piece first. So I'm going to adhere that to my page. Then this is the poem that I printed, and I just backed it with some cardstock. I think I'm going to put it right up here in this corner. And I've got this cheesecloth that I have sprayed. And I think I'm going to lift this up just a little bit and kind of start a piece of it underneath there. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of glue and then kind of press this into it. And I think I like the idea of it coming down the page. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of glue and then press it into place. And then my little compass piece, I'm going to put right on top. And again, that was just some craft cardstock that I stamped with the Jet Black Archival ink. And I fussy cut it out. I didn't think you needed to watch me fussy cut it out. <laughs> All right, so now I'm to write about why I chose this poem. So let me write, and then I'll be right back. All right, I like it. All right, so the prompt choose a poem, write why I chose that poem. And so I wrote, sunsets on the ocean bring a lot of joy to me. The smell of the salt water, the colors of the sunset and ocean are calming and beautiful to me. So I chose this poem because it reminds me of the things I love about the sunset and ocean. I dream of living near the sea one day soon. Well, I hope you're inspired to join us with this creative prompts to use your junk journals and write and then hopefully have some inspiration for creativity. Again, check out the description box down below. Do check out the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. Now I go live on Monday at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time and again on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it with your friends. And of course, comment if you have any questions. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell at the top. What else? Um... You know, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. And of course, thumbs up, comment, etc. I really appreciate your support. Again, thank you so much. Have a fabulous day. Bye.